Hello! How are you doing today? My name is Emery the Gnome, and I'm glad that you came to my forest today. I thought I would tell a story. Today's story is The Three Little Pigs. There once was three little pigs that lived with their mom and dad. And one day it was time for them to leave and go out on their own. So they left, all three of them. The first little pig, he was kind of lazy. He didn't like to work very hard and he loved to play all the time. So when it came to building a house, he decided to do it the easy way. And he built his house out of straw. So that night he was sitting there by himself and the big bad wolf just started to come on by. And, and the big bad wolf said, oh, look, there's a house made of straw. He come up and he knocked on the door. <coughs> little pig, little pig, let me in. And that little pig, he looked out the door and he said, oh, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And that big bad wolf said, little pig, little pig, let me in. And that little pig said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Well, that big old wolf, he took a big old breath and and went and that whole house just blew away. Well, that put up a big old dust storm and the little pig was able to get away. And the big old bad old wolf's looking around. He's like, where did my pig go? Well, I guess I've lost my pig. So that little old pig ran to, to little old pig number two. Well, little old pig number two, well, he, he would like to work a little bit more than, than pig number one. He built his house out of sticks. He built kind of a nice house and Little old pig number one came and knocked on the door and, and little old pig number two let him in. And it wasn't probably an hour or two ago after that, the big old bad wolf come walking by and he looked and he saw that house full of, full of sticks and he walked up there and went, <coughs> little pigs, little pigs, let me in. And the little, little pig number two said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. And that big bad wolf said again, little pig, little pig, let me in. And those, both of those pigs said, not by the hair of my chinny chin chins. Well, that wolf, he took another big old breath. And <laughs> Well, yeah, that house didn't fall down that first time. So he took another big one and that house fell to the ground. Again, another storm of sticks and branches and some leaves just blew all over the place. And both of those pigs were able to escape. And they went on down the road to little pig number three. Now little th pig number three he was, uh, he liked to work and he liked to do things correct. And he built his house out of bricks. The two little pigs came up to little pig number three and little pig three, little pig number three just let them on in. And it wasn't but an hour or two after that, the big bad wolf decided to, to knock on his door. <coughs> little pigs, little pigs, let me in. And all three of them said, not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. And he said, oh, little pigs, little pigs, let me in. And they said it all again in unison. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chins. Well, that made the big old bad old wolf mad. And he took a big old breath. <sighs> house didn't even budge. 
Well, he did it again. And he's like, whew, I don't know what I can do. So he looked around and he saw there was a chimney on top of that roof. And he decided that he was gonna go down that chimney. So they started climbing on top of that roof, that big old bad wolf did. Well, they decided to light a fire. Light a fire in that chimney. And that big old bad wolf, he started going down and he got his tushy burnt. Oh! And he climbed out of that chimney and he ran off as fast as he could. And never bothered the three little pigs again. I hope you loved our story today. That was the three little pigs. Would you please come back and listen to another story with me? Thank you.